clear understanding of triangles in technical analysis. Clear understanding of triangles in technical analysis. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good morning, good morning. For those of you who are new to us, uh, we are the TSTW24 uh, uh, traders. For Alior Wave Trading, our website is www.24aliotwaves.com. The title of this video is A Clear Understanding of Triangle in Technical Analysis. All right? Before we continue, I would like to recommend to traders uh, uh, trading uh, tutorial that traders must watch okay, to improve the understanding of uh, in your wave a triangle or triangle patterns. Uh, the first tutorial that I would like to recommend uh, to traders is uh, how to trade Elio wave corrective uh, triangle from a different angle at uh, two four Elliot waves YouTube channel. How to trade Elio wave corrective uh, triangle from a different angle. I highly recommend to traders to watch this video so they may improve the understanding of the area wave corrective triangle. All right. I would like to recommend to traders also another video here. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, the title of that video is uh, Area Wave uh, a Dow Jones uh, Trader is using a spanning triangle like a pro. Alia Wave, Dow Jones Trader, is using a expanding triangle like a pro, also a 2-4 Elliott Waves YouTube channel. All right? I will put uh, the link in the description section, so check it out in the description section. Uh, these are uh, two uh, tutorials about uh, triangles. All right? This is a continuation of, uh, okay, our tutorials are regarding uh, a triangle, and I want to share more tips and tricks with traders so traders may have a clear understanding of triangle in technical analysis. All right, very, very important subject. Okay, so what is the first thing that is coming to um, our mind as a technical trader when we see okay a triangle pattern? Okay, right. we need to get that one right. Okay, the first thing that is coming to our mind. When we see a triangle pattern or a corrective a triangle, is uh, that a triangle, the meaning of a triangle, is a warning. So the, the price or the financial market is giving us a warning. So the first meaning of a triangle in technical analysis is a warning. All right. So what usually takes place, the price may go up first. And then we see a triangle, or the financial instrument may go down first, and then we see a triangle. When we see a triangle, it's telling us that, okay, there is a warning, be careful, anything is possible. So first and first, a triangle means a warning. It's also meant that, uh, okay, anything is possible. All right, so remember those two things, all right? Triangle means a warning, is also telling us that anything is possible. All right. So why do I why, why it's so important to understand that anything is possible? Why usually take place, my friend, is that when traders see a triangle, generally speaking, traders think that uh, there will be a continuation. What we are trying to do here is uh, to rectify that understanding that a triangle means a continuation. It does not always mean a continuation. The best understanding of a triangle in technical analysis, it means that anything is possible. Why? Let me explain that to you. We see on this chart here, the price went up, and then we have this triangle. I hope you can see on your chart. Okay, follow my cursor. There is a triangle here. What usually take place? Professional traders, okay, hedge fund, big market institutions, will place orders above the triangle to sell and then we place orders below here to, uh, to buy, all right? So anything is possible. Orders here can be filled first, the price may go up, or 
others below the triangle, maybe feel fast, the price may go down. That's why I want traders to understand that when we see a triangle, the real meaning of a triangle is a warning. It also telling us that anything is possible. Instead of assuming that because the price went up fast and we have a triangle, that definitely the price will go up. We don't want to think that way. We don't want to assume that there will be, by all means, a continuation. Because of orders being placed above the triangle, and also a sell order is being placed above the triangle, and a buying order is being placed okay, below the triangle. The opposite is also true in a downtrend, where the price will go down first, and then it will form a triangle. All right? All right? So trader will place orders below the, the triangle in the downtrend to sell, and they will place orders above the triangle, where we have a bearish move first, okay, to buy. So anything is possible. This is the clear understanding of triangle in technical analysis. I have not yet finished. So probably you know already about triangle, for instance, uh, the ascending triangle we have here, ascending triangle, where the price form at the lower part of the triangle, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, and on top of the triangle, we have equal high. This is what we call ascending triangle. You already know that. I have not yet finished. Stay with us and watch the full length of this video, okay? Apart from the ascending triangle, the ascending triangle, all right, we'll also have what we call a descending triangle. Okay, reality, this is a descending triangle where the price will have, uh, okay, lower high, lower high, lower high. And at the lower part of the triangle, we have equal low. This is what we call a descending triangle. The meaning of this triangle does not mean continuation by all means because, because the price went down fast and then formed a triangle. The real meaning is a warning that anything is possible. Why? Because... Professional will place order here because it went down fast. They will place order above here to buy and they will place order below here to sell. The prior will try to fill these orders. Where there are the biggest orders, that's where the prior will go. The biggest orders will attract the price. So think of it, all right? The prior will behave like a magnet. So the uh, in fact, the orders will behave like a magnet, attracting the price. So if you have big orders, especially if you are trading stocks, commodity, be careful. If there are big orders here to, 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 okay, to buy, the price will go there to fill these orders, and you may see that the price will change direction. If the orders below here are quite big, you may see that the price may go there to fill this, these orders. So... Anything is possible, that's the meaning of a triangle in technical analysis, whether it's ascending triangle or descending triangle. We have another type of triangle, which we call the expanding triangle. This is an expanding triangle. Now, you have to understand that I told you at the beginning of this video, and I recommend two tutorials. I'll put the link in the description section. The first video that we were talking about is how to trade area wave corrective triangle from a different angle. So if you watch that video, you have a better understanding of triangle. Another video that we already mentioned is, uh, okay, area wave Dow Jones trader is using a spanning triangle like a pro. So I'm just highlighting what is an expanding triangle, descending triangle, okay, ascending triangle. For more understanding, please watch the two videos. So this is an expanding triangle. Once again, my friend, this is a warning and that anything is possible because orders, because if the price goes up fast, orders will be placed above the triangle here to buy and below here order to sell. If the price was going down, okay, on top of the triangle order will be placed, okay, all right, to buy again below to sell. It makes sense? It is also powerful. So ascending triangle. Higher lows, higher high, higher lows, higher lows, and then equal high, okay? Descending triangle, lower high, lower high, lower high, and equal low. For the expanded triangle or expanding triangle, we have here higher high, higher high, higher high, and here we have lower lows, lower lows, lower lows, all right? Now, there is very often, trader will think of uh, the ascending, descending, expanding triangle as a continuation pattern, 
Okay, they are not always continuation pattern. In the old days, yeah, in the old days, when the market is not very sophisticated, people used to get away with it. When the price goes up, everybody place order here to buy. Nowadays, the market is very, very smart, and there are other traders that are trading differently. The contrarian traders, though this is uh, normally people, people would think that continuation pattern, they may place order here to sell, and the price may go in the opposite direction. Well, there is another type of triangle which I would like to talk about today. And I'm going to go back now to my chart. That's why if you stay with us, I have a few things to clarify so you may have a clear understanding of triangle in technical analysis, whether you understand area wave or technical analysis in general. Now, before I move on to the next type of triangle, which is powerful tool, is I need to clarify this for area wave traders. A triangle for area wave trader is what we call a correction, all right? So there was a price move first, and then we, have see, we see a triangle. We will say that the triangle is correcting, okay, the, okay, the, the earlier price move. So as you can see here, I'm on a daily chart of NAX 100. We have a triangle here. This is an expanding triangle, see? Higher high, a high, a higher high, here, yeah? a low, and a lower low. This is an expanding triangle or a daily chart. So for an earlier wave trader, a triangle is a correction. The next question is that, what is that triangle correcting? Which impulsive way, which okay, price move is the triangle correcting? Here on this daily chart, see the price went down all the way here. The triangle here is correcting this move down. All right? So Generally speaking, talking about the earlier wave theory, we are likely to see triangle in the fourth earlier wave. That's the best place one can expect a triangle. All right, that's the best place. Sometime, my friend, you may see on the second wave. It's not always like this. This strange thing can happen in the stock market. But for an earlier wave trader, he or she will expect a triangle in the fourth earlier wave. All right. It makes sense? It's, this is one thing you need to understand as a trader. A triangle, whether a ascending triangle, descending triangle, expanding triangle, these are corrective triangle. Now, so we are counting waves. We want to know where we are, which way do we have, and then we want to check which, okay, prior wave is the triangle correcting. So, trader may think only of uh, okay, an impulsive wave, which is usually divided into five waves. So during an impulsive wave, we'll expect, uh, we may see a triangle in the second wave, which does not happen very often, or during the fourth wave. So impulsive wave can be divided into five mono wave. But the triangle can also appear during a zigzag pattern. So we may see A during the ABC corrective wave. So we see A, so price went down A, and then pull back B, and then C. So we may see a triangle also in the B wave of the ABC pattern. Last I mentioned before in a previous video, I will touch on it very fast. A triangle for an earlier wave trader is also indicating to us that a pattern that is being formed, okay, is about to be completed. So very often, you may see, that's why I say to you, that you may see very often the triangle in the fourth wave because an impulsive wave is about to be completed during the fifth wave. So when the fifth wave is ended, this pattern one, two, three, four, five wave is completed here. That's why very often we see a triangle in the fourth wave warning us that a pattern that is being formed is about to be completed, which means the last part of the pattern is about to begin. So if we see a pattern being developed, either one, two, three, four, five way being developing, and we see a triangle in the fourth way, we'll expect the fifth way to be underway very soon, all right? On the other hand, my friend, carefully, carefully, I want you to understand this. Sometimes they say to me, show us, okay, on a live chart, what is this? But for educational purposes, this is the foundation. We need to draw things, we need to clarify things, and I like to do it this way, 
or here I'll show you, draw it so you get the message and then later on we trade, okay, we trade and we apply it. As I did it last week, I talked about expanded triangle and then we recorded a video about area wave Dow Jones trader is using expanded triangle like a pro. And I also recorded another video which we call Alien Web Practitioner is live day trading a major stock index. In that video, I apply the expanded triangle on a live chart for day trading purposes. So for this exercise, this is okay, the foundation. This is the most important thing because very often if you do not have a strong foundation, okay, you can't build a strong house. Okay. So this is it. So Again, once again, we can see a correction during the D wave of ABC. So the pattern is ABC. So when we see a triangle during the B wave of the correction uh, of uh, the, the B wave of the ABC, we know that the last part of this pattern is about to complete it. Sometimes, my friend, it becomes very interesting. And the triangle sometimes can help us know that, in fact, a complex area wave is about to end. So you may see we talk about the double zigzag, triple zigzag, all right, uh, where the correction is a multiple correction. This one thing also that traders don't understand. So they learn about area wave, but area wave can become a little bit complex when we have complex waves or complex correction. Now, let me clarify that. When we are talking about complex correction, now you see, okay, triangle, you think that that's the end of the triangle, the, the end of the correction. But then again, another price move, and then another correction. And then you think that, oh, I thought that George said that this is the, 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 the we went to expect the fifth way. And then again, another move, and another, okay, correction. So you see a correction, you see, that's the, that's, uh, okay, zigzag pattern is completed now, we should see the next prime move. And you see another correction, I see X, a, B, C, X, A, B, C, double zigzag, okay? A, B, C, X, A, B, C, X, A, B, C, triple zigzag. And then now, now you're wondering what's going on. It's a complex correction. That's why when we are counting area way, what I try to clarify for traders that are a little bit excited until they wipe out their trading account and they will end. So one thing with area way is a guide. We use it one step at a time, one step at a time gently so if you use it as a science and say that exactly what it has been said this is what the book has said you may be surprised because sometimes the correction can go on for a long time okay you know all right okay so i want to clarify those important things because i, I have one trader to have a clear understanding of triangle in technical analysis. So the point I want to highlight after all my blah, 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 is that sometimes during a complex corrections, all right, the triangle will help us know that the complex correction is about to end. It makes sense? So you may see one correction, another correction, and then suddenly you see a triangle. The triangle in that section of a complex correction is warning that this correction that has been going on for too long, that has been messing up your train, is about to end. The last part of the correction is about to end. Once again, this is not an exact science, my friend. This is a guide, okay, to navigate through, okay, uh, the market, all right? So understanding that this is a guide, okay? So first thing first, a triangle is a warning that anything is possible because of the orders being placed on both sides of the triangle. Generally, traders think that a triangle is a continuation pattern. Yes, it is a continuation pattern, but it is not always a continuation pattern. Okay, let's move on. There is another triangle that I promise you is the ending diagonal. Now, I would like to, in this case, I'll put also the link in the description section. Go to www.24aliawave.com. If you don't like to watch video, don't bother to go there because our website is all about video. Video a powerful tool. That's why we love YouTube where traders can learn and see, we talk, we show things, and traders can learn about it, okay? So on our website, you see video. If you don't like video, don't bother to go. There are videos there to watch, okay? So now, the ending diagonal, go to www.24aliotwaves.com, okay? 
The ending diagonal is a very powerful triangle that happens during the fifth wave. It's the loudest warning. So we talk about triangle being a warning, but the loudest warning is the ending diagonal. So it, we can use it also for scalping, day trading and scalping. We can, you see sometimes on a five minute time frame, when a price will go very fast up, almost vertical, boom, 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 up. And then you will form a triangle like this. The ending diagonal is telling, it's a warning that the move that has begun is now about to end. Be ready to cash out before it is too late. So sometimes you may see even on the family chart, the price will go up, 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 up like this. And then suddenly go gently, like in a, go start consolidating in a small triangle like this. The next thing, trader will place order here. Some, once again, anything is possible. Trader will place order here to buy. Some trader will place order here to sell. But for the ending diagonal, if you look at the internal wave of the, the ending diagonal, if you understand the area will become first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave. Now, the fifth wave is an ending diagonal. We check that everything aligns carefully. That's why I recommend to you to go to our website and watch all the videos so you may understand what's going on. All right, so the ending diagonal, there's a high chance the prime will come back down. The move that has started from here all the way up here is about to come down. You may see very often the RSI indicator of being overbought Try run, run, run very fast and then form this triangle here, RSI being overbought and people will, will place order here to sell and we place their stop loss above here, a tiny stop loss and boom, 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 it will come down. Sometimes you go down very fast and uh, it will be total retracement or sometimes it will come down very far and stop somewhere here. Now remember the ending diagonal is a powerful tool for traders that like to trade, reversal, okay, knowing that a, a trend is about to end is the loudest warning. The opposite is also true in a downtrend. Sometimes they say, John, why are you drawing? Because I want you to understand it. Once you get that feature into your head, you know, it's like uh, you want to learn to drive, okay? So we give you a computer game, you go to Google Play, you download a car. If you can drive it on a computer, you can drive it on a real road. You will never. So this is what we are doing here. The simulation first, and then a real test. All right, the simulation. You can learn to drive on, on your computers, and if you can do it perfectly, or perfectly on the computers, you go into a real car, the part is already in your mind. It's the software in your mind. That's what we are doing here. We are building a kind of, uh, okay, algorithm in your mind, and when you go into real trading, you put into use. But once again, you learn it, test it, practice, practice. Don't even, just practice. Uh, trader, trader don't want to practice. Practice, please, just practice. Open a demo account, market open, sit down, trade it on, on paper. If you are, if it's not working on paper, well, uh, you know that it's not going to work with real money. Serious, it's all about money. So again, the opposite is also true in a downtrend. Try run down very fast, see here, run down very fast. And then, now this is, a, this is not an ending diagonal, by the way, this is not an ending diagonal because you see the ending diagonal very small, up here. So you try run down very fast, one, two, three, four, and then the fifth move will be in a very tiny rising triangle forming what we call an ending diagonal. It is a louder warning that the move that would the bearish move is there, there's a high chance that we may see a reversal. So we have a descending triangle, ascending triangle, okay, and then we have a expanding triangle. But there is another triangle that we call the contracted triangle or the symmetrical triangle. I'll come back to that in a minute, okay? The symmetrical triangle or contracting triangle. But the, the, the best warning is the ending diagonal. It's during the fifth wave. It is in fact a fifth wave that is confined in a triangle. It makes sense? Now let's move on now to the symmetrical triangle. I'm looking for here is this one example here. It's a symmetrical triangle. Here you see that uh, is the, 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 you see we have a lower high, lower high, lower high. And we have higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. This is what we call contracting triangle, a symmetrical triangle. Lower high, lower, lower high, lower high, lower high. 
and a higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. This is what we call a symmetrical triangle or a contracting triangle. Now, for the expanding triangle, you see we have a higher lows, higher high, higher highs, and a lower lows, lower lows. Okay, it's different from the expanded triangle. For the symmetrical triangle or contracting triangle, the descending triangle, the ascending triangle, the expanding triangle, this triangle, no more chartists, no more technical traders, we we'll say that this is a continuation pattern. For us that are learning to read the price, talking about the earlier wave patterns, we look at the internal waves that are developing inside a triangle. This will give us a bit of idea what is the probability okay, that the price may go up or go down. We have an edge. All right? We know the internal wave of a triangle for an earlier wave trader is free, 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 which we call the A, B, C, D, E chart pattern. A pattern, A, B, C, D, E, confined either in a descending triangle, ascending triangle, symmetrical triangle, or expanded triangle. But we have talked about another triangle, uh, which is what we call the ending diagonal. It's the loudest warning. So to summarize this video, my friend, remember, the clear understanding about triangle in technical analysis is a warning that is telling us that anything is possible because trader will place orders above and below to buy and sell. Now, for a trader that understands earlier wave, he or she may have already come some waves, okay? So we can one, two, three, four. We know this is an impulsive wave. This is the fourth wave. The, 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 the triangle is telling us that the last part of the pattern is about to begin. We'll use a top-down trading method to trade like a professional trader. Without a top-down trading method, it's just a little bit, it's just a little bit of speculation or gambling that we are doing. It's not a real a trading if one is not using a top-down trading method. It may work unless you have a system in place with uh, uh, proper uh, risk control in place uh, that you have tested already. Okay, all right, it makes sense. All right. So this is, these are just few things that I want to clarify with traders so they may understand how they can use a triangle and which strategy they may adopt, okay? And know exactly what is taking place. A triangle is also a consolidation. So for general uh, uh, chart pattern traders, they talk about consolidation. For earlier wave traders, we talk about correction, all right? So it's uh, a consolidation that is taking place in a triangle. Now. Another thing that I clarify in the previous video is this very important. When we see a triangle pattern, it's a pattern. What is the common trading mistake when traders are trading a pattern? What have I said that traders should do when they see a pattern? The first thing that you should ask is this, my friend. Where and when does this pattern appear? It's a powerful question. So sometimes they may see a pattern that we have talked about it already, and the pattern may be at the wrong place. All right? So the question one should know, the most important thing one should know, where and when does this pattern appear? So if you know when and where the pattern appear, you are likely to make a better decision than somebody who does not know when and where the pattern appear. Whether you learn Fibonacci pattern, butterfly pattern, crab pattern, we want to know where and when the pattern appears. So I recommend you to watch the two videos so you may understand a little bit more about the triangle. We will be recording more videos about the triangle and we will be also recording live trading when we are applying what we are discussing here in this kind of, uh, okay, the foundation course, a foundation tutorial about, uh, okay, a clear understanding of triangle in technical analysis. So we have the ascending triangle, a descending triangle, okay, contracting triangle, expanded triangle, and also the ending diagonal, which is formed during the fifth Elliott wave. Now, when we see a pattern like that, now we want to know where and when the pattern is being formed. The next question, is the pattern completed? Sometimes, talking about the area wave trader, you want to count the pattern carefully. It's a part of the pattern already being counseled, what is happening? Check the market environment, okay? And then when you know that the pattern is completed, you can even trade the pattern bit by bit, 
They call it A, B, C, D, E. You can turn it bit by bit because you know the next move, A, is completed. B is about to begin. C is about to begin. D is a completed. Now E is about to begin. Where to enter the trade? All right? So for an any of a trader, it's a powerful tool, okay, to navigate through the market. As I said to you already, this is not an exact science. It's a guide that we use. Once you always pay attention to the economy news, we can change the dynamics of the market. All right, you may see the beautiful setup, everything lined up, and you don't bother to check the economy news at Google Finance, at Yahoo Finance, at Forest Factory, and something else will happen. You see, this is all mambo jumbo. We are talking about the market environment, what is the current market environment. Remember the story about the barbecue, all right? The barbecue, you want to do barbecue, you have to have, you want to have a nice weather. The market environment will decide everything in this, uh, okay? Trading well. The market what is the market environment? Trading stock, what is the current economy? Trading forex, what are the major economy news of forex factory? Now, are we at the beginning of the week, the month? The first week of the month can be very challenging for traders, day traders especially. So you are just, what is the time of the day you are day trader? What's the time of the day you want to know? So you may apply your strategy without stress. You understand? It's very powerful. The bottom line is uh, not to lose, okay? As uh, Mr. Buffett said, okay, the first rule is not to lose, and the second rule is not to forget the first rule, which is not to lose, okay? Do not lose at all. Do not lose, okay? Very, very important. If you're learning now, if this is the first time you learn this, okay? Now, open a demo account, test it, practice, watch other videos on YouTube, go on the web, do your research, prepare yourself, train yourself, okay, and be ready Okay, to trade it, okay, like a professional uh, a trader, okay? It makes sense. It is also uh, powerful. All right, if you have uh, any question, okay, put in the comment section. Any suggestion, put in the comment section. You want us to record another video uh, on a specific subject relating to the earlier wave theory? All right, put in the comment section. I'll read the comment, and in due time, we'll record a video, okay, that will answer or clarify okay your question okay if i forget something i'll record another video again and i will come back to that and uh, highlight it clearly okay for you all right so for the ending diagonal we can one two three four five uh, during the fifth wave we may see the price in the ending diagonal another thing before i close this video for forex traders very important sometimes when economy news I do high volatile economy new like uh, the no farm employment change. All right, you will see on the hourly chart very very important. The price will go very fast vertical because of the high impact news. Or during the earnings season for trade that are trading stock, price go very fast because a major economy news release price run very fast vertical move to the upside. Okay, and then the market will will become quiet. Okay. So uh, during the, the quiet period, the price will, 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 will be confined in a triangle. Though you may not see one, two, three, four wave, remember that a fast move followed by a triangle is normally, is very often a hidden ending diagonal. The opposite is also true when a major economy news release, especially on the hourly chart, you see price run down very fast, and then, uh, okay, f uh, first day after the news, and the second day after the news, you may see the price confined in a triangle, all right? That triangle, very often, okay, is a, a hidden, okay, uh, uh, is a hidden, okay, ending a diagonal. If you like this video, please uh, give us, uh, okay, the thumbs up. If you dislike it, please give us the thumbs down, all right? If you love it, feel free to share it on Google+, Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. If you love our video, feel free to subscribe to our channels, okay? As I said, I will be recording another video, and I will do a real demonstration to you to, to, to show you exactly how we trade it on a live chart for day trading and also for street trading, what kind of approach you should adopt to improve, okay, our trading. A clear understanding of triangle, meaning that this is a warning that anything is possible. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about clear understanding of triangle in technical analysis. Speak to you soon.